He's been captured perfectly by the Harlem painter Franz Hals. Although it looks like Hals has painted the boy very spontaneously, a lot of thought has gone into it. Look at how Hals has shaped the boy's nose with a well-placed stroke of white on the bridge and a white dot on the tip. Hals knew exactly what he was doing. A contemporary wrote that he had such command of the brush that he could capture a person's character at one stroke of the brush without changing it or toning it down. People in Hals's portraits were the first characters from the preceding centuries that I recognized as modern. Hals may have been the earliest thoroughly secular artist, the first to conceive of his subjects in the way Chandler, and for that matter Hemingway and Leonard Cohen would after him. In his portraits the people are no longer actors in an allegory or players in a predetermined sacred drama. They're alone, and what we see are the bare girders of personality, the subject of these paintings. Franz Hals the Elder, 1582-1666, was a Dutch Golden Age portrait painter who lived and worked in Harlem. He is notable for his loose painterly brushwork, and he helped introduce this lively style of painting into Dutch art.